former Republican 2012 candidate for Georgia's 2nd Congressional District, Rick Allen, sent out a press release today endorsing John House for that position. Allen says House is, quote, a well-qualified, pro-Constitution conservative who has a deep understanding of the importance of restoring the foundational principles that have made our country prosperous and free. And he believes our individual rights must be preserved. John House is running against Democratic incumbent Congressman Sanford Bishop. Wait on. It's on the periodic table of elements, but what many people don't know is it's also a silent killer. Fox 31's Colby Gallagher connects you to the lessons of Radon Awareness Week. When you walk through your front door, the last thing you expect is to be greeted by what some call a silent killer. But experts say radon, a radioactive gas created during the decay of uranium in soil and rock, could be one of your housemates. It comes into their homes from the ground below, and it is the leading cause of lung cancer in non-smokers, non and the second leading cause after smoking. Ginger Bennett, a radon educator with the University of Georgia, says radon-induced lung cancer is especially dangerous because it causes minimal symptoms until it's in stage four. Bennett says to protect yourself, you have to be proactive. First, you need to test. The only way to know if you have radon coming in is to test for it because you can't see it, taste it, or smell it. And if you're concerned about radon levels in your home, there are do-it-yourself test kits available at your local home improvement stores. We give you two test kits, which is the best way to get the most accurate reading. Take the caps off the test kits, place them in the room for four days. That's a full 96 hours. Next, you have to send the resealed kits off to the lab with a processing fee and wait a week for the results. Although radon levels aren't state regulated, the Environmental Protection Agency has set a number they've deemed unsafe. EPA says that if it's four picocuries per liter of air or more, uh, you definitely need to address the problem, and it's a fixable problem with a ventilation system. The ventilation system, which costs anywhere from fifteen to $2,500, works to pull air from under your house and purify it before it's pumped through the vents. But Bennett says what may seem like an expensive investment is worth the cost of your family's health. Colby Gallagher, Fox 31 News.